in Japan, we're at a local grocery store and we're seeing how so many different types of fish and different seafoods are incorporated into the daily diet, right? And what I love the most about what we see here is really like the skin, right? So everything has skin and it's got so much more of the omegas, it's got so much more of the collagens. And these kind of soups that are created with these different fish really feed the entire like nutrient profile of things that we need every single day. And you can just see how incredibly fresh everything is. I mean, you know, like just by looking at the eyes of these, how fresh this fish is. And I like that they've got like different snails and different types of things that like we've never seen, we never eat. Yeah. This is all pickled foods. I'm amazed. I never saw this before. <laughs> I never saw it. And like every single day, people are literally, they're eating this, they're, thank you very much. Spicy. Spicy? Oh. <laughs> It's a flavor I've never, I've never ever had before. Have you ever had this? It's like a spicy flavor. <laughs> and every single thing that's here has been pickled and having the part of the pickled food is literally a daily occurrence. You gotta try it. It's a daily occurrence. <laughs> Right? It's good. You know, you noticed how incredibly civilized the whole process is, right? Like, I just had the opportunity to try pickled foods that I had never had in my life before, that are consumed every morning, every night. And it's just like totally feeding the microbiome. It's nourishing in a different way than certainly we experience like in the westernized world. But this is the norm. You know, just like any grocery store, we always want to stay on the outer parameters. Although the inside of this grocery store is not quite as dangerous as most grocery stores, you still want to stay away. <laughs> it's so it's so perfect and beautiful. And you can see, like even with the chicken, they've got the chicken's feet, and that's an important part of what you get when you eat a chicken over here, right? They're cooking the entire feet, eating that cartilage, incorporating the skin into everything. You think they eat Yeah. Uh, the, for sure, the chicken's feet are used, is used for bone broth. Uh, and you know, in Japan, it's such an interesting place to visit a grocery store because things are done so perfectly. And there are foods here that you would never imagine eating anywhere else in the world. But if you compare Japan, let's say to China, this is extraordinarily uh, civilized and everything is done perfectly. What's also interesting is like the size of this, right? So when do you ever see just four pieces of meat? And this is indicative of the quantities of meat that they eat. They're not consuming, you know, the 14 ounce ribeye and things like that. Should we look at some of the amazing vegetables? Like, are these carrots? They're enormous and so orange. You know, you hear all the time in Japan how perfect the vegetables are and the fruit and how careful they are to just make sure you're getting, you know, something that's so fresh and so nutritious and so perfect. There are so many vegetables and so many fruits that you wouldn't even recognize or you know, like certainly we're gonna see a lot of examples of it. But also, you know, it just goes back to like the perfection. I mean, look at this, these little snap peas, not one of them is anything but perfect. It's really special to sort of look at the, that's like a cabbage, right? Yeah. And this is the largest thing I've seen in the store. 
And this section with all the vegetables is huge. So we know how powerful this is and how many nutrients come out of it. And I love that this is what's big, right? So they've got leeks, all of these different greeneries that are consumed daily, a lot of the different herbs. A lot of the astringent and more bitter flavors you find in the vegetables that are here in Japan. And that makes a big difference too, right? To help really nourish our health um, in a different way where it's not always sweet or bitter. It's like astringent and the value of astringent flavors. I want to show you a little bit of the sprouts. So when we buy sprouts in the US, we never buy them like this, right? You usually buy them where they've already been trimmed and then you buy them as like, or like this. This is a very typical way. But here in Japan, you're seeing the sprouts like this. And these are so dense with nutrients. They're, the level of nutrients that you get in a sprout is some of the most powerful. And what's also really famous here in Japan is the consumption of like broccoli sprouts. So microgreens are huge and you can see how huge they are here. I'd like to also just point out the flowers that they add to their salads as part of their greenery. Take a look. Whoopsie. Here are some roses. Look how beautiful and unexpected. I think the Japanese have really figured it out on how to nourish their bodies in a beautiful and incredibly healthy way. Um, just with simple switches like, you know, serving the sprouts where you've still got the root system adds so much to their daily life. I think it's just exquisite to see the amount of herbs as well, right? So a lot of times we think of a salad as the lettuces, but here in Japan, the herbs, the fresh herbs are incorporated. So they've got them right next to each other and you put them together when you make a salad. I don't know what this is. It looks pretty interesting though. Mm. No idea, right? <laughs> oh, I love this whole section. A whole stand of mushrooms. All of the different types of mushrooms that they have here. Yes, I love these mushrooms, yeah. I hope we have them for lunch. Look at all the different types of mushrooms. They're everywhere. Fermented foods, mushrooms. I like seeing, see, he's so proud of his work. He's taking a photograph. We should, we should do that. I love it. It looks very good. Thank you. Mm. Delicious kiwi. It's beautiful. Look how they celebrate the fruit, right? Like this is very, very cute. It's super cute. Here they're, everywhere the high quality food. Organic and non-organic is all mixed together, um, but it's really with a commitment to health and well-being and also a sense of joy. I mean, if you just take a look, like look at the floors in this place, they are spick and span. They're like shining. Everything is shiny and bright. The lights are bright. I feel like I've gone to Sephora for food. <laughs>
really, it's like that. Like everyone wants you to try a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Got the little happy, happy pig smiling at us. And I think there's a sense of pride and beauty in everything, everything that is experienced. So lots of fermented foods, lots of different types of pickles, uh, olives, which we know are so nutritious, right? Like the amount of fermented, all the seaweeds, the fresh fish, the meats, the different types of like pungent, uh, spicy, uh, bitter vegetables and all the herbs and the spices that are fresh. The way they grow their sprouts is really interesting and just the size of the vegetables like even the apples and the oranges are like this big we should go take a look Ooh, these are all soups they're all soup look at this i love all the different soups you would think these are just like fruit juices but they're actually a variety of different soups and fruit juices this is pretty cool this whole section here. So this is like a liquid ginger. See all of the liquid ingredients, the citrus. These are all the different sauces that people use. The olive oils, which we know how much they nourish us, the polyphenols that are found in them. You can see they're also selling the different oils up here, which is very cool, about getting like the highest quality from around the world. And it shows you where they're coming from, where they've been picked from, you make your own. Great, beautiful. So just in case you want a very large apple wrapped individually, here you go. And this is literally how you see these fruit growing. I mean, look how pretty this is. Who does that? Gift wrapped, ready to go. Just exquisite. I'm completely blown away by the way that the strawberry is presented. Look at that. I hope you have enjoyed this incredible Japanese grocery store as much as I have. From the yummy fish, the little baby fish that we eat for breakfast, to the different types of eggs. Look at all the different types of eggs that are ingested. And if you just take a look, a food that I'm not a big fan of, but look, it's not like you're getting a six pack or a 12 pack, you're getting two. So everything in moderation, except for the vegetables and the fruits. Thanks so much for watching. I can't wait to show you more as we explore Japan.